Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Wigan Athletic versus Tears Jeff. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Oh, here's the lineup for Wigan Athletic. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. The starting 11 for Cheers, Jeff. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Soria has it. And Clark on the ball. Given away by Cheers Jeff. Stephen Humphreys. And they need to get tighter. And let's give credit to the defending. Harris with it. And I'm sure the visitors will be thinking about claiming all three points here, Stuart. They do know that if results go their way, they could... Will he finish? Well, quite simply, a wild, wayward effort. And the less said about it, the better. Scully. Well, something has changed in the Brentford match, I'm just hearing. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Brentford. They're the first on the score sheet here with nine minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Oh, they've lost it. Beautifully weighted ball. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, the graphic tells you everything about his current form. Second in the table in terms of league goals, and he looks so threatening at the moment. He'll look to add to those numbers once again today. 
Stephen Humphreys. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Aziz. Anthony Scully. Well read to win possession back. Right, a change to the scoreline in the Reading match. Who has found the net? Alex Scott can tell us. Yep, it's a goal for Bristol City. They've scored the opener here with 16 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Promising possession, this. Lang, chance to cross. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, the crowd know that set pieces could be their best chance. Just listen to that reaction. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Hutchison. And cheers, Jeff, looking dangerous. He could pick out a teammate. Can he finish? And a goal! No, they've broken through. 1-0 here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Right, I'm hearing that something exciting has happened in the Watford game, so let's get an update from Alex. Yep, it's a goal for Huddersfield Town. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 30 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Well, attacking possibilities, but really sticking to their task defensively. And he's in. Well, if you make your move too early, you're always in danger of being ruled offside. <laughs> Stephen Humphreys. Lang. Very quick thinking there. Teammates available. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Humphreys. This looks interesting. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well, thumped clear. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. And back now with Kuhn. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. A move of promise on the flank. And a throw in it's going to be. And players waiting in the centre. Can he finish? And a body in the way.
We'll go to now. Oh, we got. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. A very effective challenge put in. Humphreys. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Millwall. The keeper went the right way, but it was brilliantly placed into the bottom corner. It's now one all with 50 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. And it might be. And a goal to increase their what advantage. A goal, okay. It's a two goal. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Aziz. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move and he can continue to develop his career. Chance to reduce the arrears. That really would have what changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed what to what score it? there. That may just have given them some hope. As you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. Oh, good work by the keeper. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Well, time to send it over to Alex Scott now because, Alex, I believe there's been a goal in the Millwall game. It's a second goal for Luton Town. They're back in this now with 60 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. And in with a real chance. Another goal! What a goal and surely the there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, on they go again. And it's fair to say, cheers, Jeff, are really in the mood. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. And a quick reminder, we have live action from the Carabao Cup coming your way. It's Wigan Athletic facing Nottingham Forest. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. An alert piece of defending. Already closing him down here. Well, something has happened in the Reading game. Alex is going to tell us exactly what. It's a second goal for Bristol City. They're ahead by two now with 68 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. And showing fine vision. Foiling his opponent completely. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack.
Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top what class okay save. That Just is. look how he reacts. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And taken short. Deep delivery. In it goes! What the hell is he happening? Is he Gaga? What's going on? Well, let's take another look because it's a well worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. 15 minutes left for play. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, I'm hearing changing circumstances in the Swansea game, Alex Scott. It's a goal for Brighton. It was an early cross into the box, and it was a great headed finish. They're pulled ahead by two with 77 minutes played. What a fascinating matchup we have here today, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. And saved by the keeper. They favoured a short one here and played in. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, not giving him any breathing room. And intercepted it. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium and it should be an entertaining match. An alert intervention. Could be a chance to break here. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. So a personnel change then. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. This looks interesting. Nicely timed tackle. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break.
Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. We need a goal, go away, but they get the goal down. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, he scored one and could have had a lot more. But if you keep getting into the right areas, the goals will come. I thought... He Uh, some questions regarding the match. Thank you. が、